Hey folks, made it back to the spot here. Finding that old stuff. And, uh, minus six here today, which is about uh, 21 Fahrenheit. Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can get the shovel on the ground. And if I can, and if I find anything, I'll get you back up on. All right. First find, folks, is this little tiny spoon. There are some mark. Oh, there's some markings on the back. I can't make them out, but I'm going to take it, clean it up, and see if I can find anything out about it. Pretty windy here today, so hopefully I'm not uh, picking up too much wind in the microphone. All right, I'll catch you later. Just popped out this ink bottle, folks. It's got ink embossed on the side of it there. Check it out. It's turquoise color or aqua blue. Blown. That's a nice one. Nothing on the bottom. Yeah, looks to be all there. No chips or anything in it. No cracks. Sweet. Nice little ink. On to the next. Check this shard out, folks. That's pretty cool. Well, maybe it went that way, I don't know. Got a bit of a bluish and white color to it. Might have been a vase or something, I don't know. Anyways, that there. Getting lots of tops. Yep. A little bit of stoneware in there, too. Alright, well, we'll uh, keep plugging away. Here's one, folks. Too bad it's broke. International Non-Such Stove Dressing. Non-Such Manufacturing Company, Toronto. It's a little bit melted. This might have been a burn pile. Kind of windy here today. Sorry about the wind if, uh, if the camera's picking it up. And I'm going to keep scraping away. Check out this fine, folks. I just scraped up this stopper. We still got some foil on the top of it. Old Scotch whiskey. I figured I'd uh, film it before uh, the foil wipes off or whatever. You never know with these things. So there it is. That's pretty cool. See what I can find out about it. Maybe I'll find the bottle to go with it. You never know. Hey folks, got you back up on. Looks like I got another. Finally, another one in the hole here. It's right here. Okay, well, it's complete, and it is a three-in-one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a blown one. Three-in-one oil, yeah, cool. GW Coal Company. Cool beans, I'll take it. Onward. Hey folks, I got something sticking out here. Looks like a stone of some sort, maybe marble. I'm not sure. I'm gonna pull it out if I can. Let's see what we got here. It's not very big. It feels like it's attached to something. There we go. Huh. That's interesting. Would have been a piece of decorative stone off a fence post or something, maybe. Something like that, anyways. That's pretty cool. All right, I think I'll uh, I'll hang on to it. Good day, folks. Hope everybody's doing well today. I'm back with a recap. Uh, from the bottles of this dig. I think this is the third or fourth uh, video from this from this uh, 1880 site, 1880s, 1890s. Of course some of the stuff might even be from the 1870s. Well, let's uh, get right into this one here. Nothing real special about this bottle. It's just a little blown in a mold bottle. Uh, no markings on it. There's a number nine on the bottom. 
this thick, thick little bottle, thick glass. We got a uh, Bromo Seltzer, Bromo Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, MD. There you go. First time I found one like that, corked up. And uh, I didn't do a whole lot of uh, research on these ones, so I'm just kind of winging it, go over the basics. We've got a Johnson's American Anodyne Liniment. Another blown in the mold, tooled lip. we got a Maker's Mark on the bottom, looks like an ISJ and Company. That's an oldie, found lots of those. This one here, I think you've seen this one in the video. Just a three in one oil, but it's an old one. Get the lighting just right here. GW Cole and Company. I'll put some pictures up at the end of the video of these, the light behind them. Here's one here. They're just blowing the mold bottle, no markings on it. Nice little specimen though. And we got a couple inks here. This one here was broke. I glued it back together. It's a nice clear one. It's uh it doesn't say Carter's on the bottom, it just says made in USA. And it's uh blown in a mold. I don't know if it's Carter's or not. But this one here is a nice one. And this actually says Stafford's ink on the side of it. I didn't notice that when I dug it. So that's nice. It's a nice uh, specimen. And we got this uh, padlock. You can see right there, it says VR and then patent down underneath it. Too bad it's broke. That's the second uh, padlock I found at the site. Here's the other one. Yep, too bad it's broke. Too bad I didn't find the keys to them. That would be nice as well. We've got an old paper uh, shotgun shell head. 12 gauge. A 44 cartridge shell. The spoon. It has some uh, markings right here on the back of it, but I couldn't make anything out, even with the uh, magnifying glass. A nice little... Test tube here, sorts, little vial, blown. One, two, three, four, five glass stoppers. And this one had this on the end of it, old scotch whiskey. But uh, it's come off. So I might glue it on there. Just so uh, it stays there. And I don't lose it. I think that's kind of neat to have that. And then this here that you've seen in the video... Some sort of, I don't know if that's marble or what it is, but it uh, cleaned up nice, and I'm going to keep it. So that's everything, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got one more video from this particular site to show in the future, so I hope you uh, tune in for that one. And uh, see you then. Have a great day, everyone. It's like a kind of torture to have to watch the show.